How's it going, everyone? It's Hobby from WonderStorm. That was today. It's September 8, 2001, and today we're going to forecast when you should experience your first snowfall in each region of the United States. I will go in detail for each region and explain why you should receive your first snowfall either earlier than expected or later than expected using um, data points such as the Nino 3.4 forecast as well as other data but before i begin make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather calls and make sure to like if you like this video make sure to turn on post notifications if you want to see even more weather calls so to begin i will just show you the map of when i think you should ex um, experience your first snowfall all throughout the united states and for the most part i'm expecting most of the united states to experience their first snowfall a little earlier and i'll explain why so for so, but let me first go over each region so for the higher elevations of the rocky mountains i do expect you will experience your first snowfall somewhere in september however it won't really impact a large population so unless you're in the higher elevations you won't be affected by snow as early as september however um, I, I think as early as the month of October, the northern Midwest and a lot of the Rocky Mountain um, region, um, which includes Denver, should experience their first snowfall, I predict, which is a little bit earlier for some, especially those in the northern Midwest. And then just south of that, for a lot of these Midwest states, which includes the city of Omaha, uh, Minneapolis, um, Milwaukee, Des Moines, etc., um, I do expect you guys to uh, experience snowfall a little earlier in early November. And then um, this extends as well into the Northeast, where I do expect the interior portions of the Northeast, especially upstate New York and the northern portion of new england to experience snow as early as early november and i do expect a lot of the pacific northwest especially on the western side of oregon and washington to experience snow their first snowfall in early november and for just south of that i do expect snowfall um in new york city boston and including philadelphia to experience our first snowfall as early as late november and this includes chicago as well and um and you see just south of that i expect it to be early december this includes the cities like baltimore potentially washington dc as well um st louis could um, is expected to experience their first snowfall early November and then late December just south of that and you see that um, you could experience their first snowfall in January and February just south of that and just south of this region you see that no I'm forecasting little to no snowfall at all as it's simply rare for snow to be this far up down south because the short wave radiation of the sun is just beaming a lot more than let's say um in the higher latitudes and also the gulf of mexico should moderate the temperature a bit and keep it warmer than it actually um than what the shortwave radiation um alone would give it which is the reason why um places that are around the same latitude um, further westward are gonna experience snow and the southeast isn't because the gulf of mexico and the atlantic ocean have a big part to do with that by moderating the temperature along the coastal regions but yeah so for a lot so first let's talk about the areas in the september range um so it so there is a possibility that i do think that that maybe this could maybe go for the um um late early october however i do think that um that september should you guys should experience your first snowfall and for northern uh, midwest this is going to be um a little bit of a rarity for you because you typically don't see um you typically don't see your first snowfall as early as october and this also extends to new york city where for pretty much for most of the united states i'm expecting snowfall to be earlier than expected and the reason why is taking a look at the forecasted la nina over the next several months because you see that headed into the months of september october november and december you see that the forecast is that we most likely will experience a la nina with only a small or marginal chance that we experience a neutral phase of pretty much no chance we experience an el nino um in El Nino for these months and what La Nina does is that there's a more pronounced jet stream dip especially in the as that especially affects the northern portions of the United States especially the Midwest if we were to take a look at what La Nina does um, when it comes to temperature anomalies you see this 
is a temperature anomaly um, for all the La Nina years between the months of September and February. And you see that the temperature anomalies are a lot colder, especially in the northern Midwest states as well as the Pacific Northwest. And even some portions of the Northeast are typically colder than average, especially during the later winter months. And this even extends to the West Coast a little bit. So for the most part, as a result of cooler than average temperatures that typically come with the La Nina, I do expect um i do expect that your first snowfall for a lot of the united states to be a lot earlier than what you typically see so for those who typically experience um snowfall maybe in early december it's more likely i'd say you will experience snowfall late november this time around because the temperature anomalies are expected to be cooler than average as a result of a uh, strong la nina that's expected to build into the winter into the early winter months and while there is going to be a shift in the late winter months um we're talking about first snowfall here and um typically the first snowfall for most americans occurs between the months of december and october and which are considered pretty much a very early winter months. so the fact that there's going to be a la nina during the early winter months means that more likely than not a lot of the united states should experience their first snowfall a little earlier and another thing that i'm also that we also need to take into account is that we have been in a negative arctic oscillation pretty much since um pretty much since mid-august and um as you can see based off this graph um you see that we um before we entered the negative phase we were in a positive phase for almost a three month period between uh, mid-may all the way to early august which really shows that typically when there is an arts constellation it lasts for i'd say an average of, of around one to three months and since the this arts constellation began right around mid to late august we could expect it to end either potentially in maybe as early as middle october or as late as december and if it were to and if it were to last till december then more likely than not, a lot of the United States for the next one to three months will be a lot colder than average because that's simply what a negative Arctic oscillation brings, just colder temperatures throughout the United States. And the colder temperatures should allow for a higher chance of experiencing your first snowfall earlier throughout the United States. So that's another reason why I do expect the um, your first snowfall throughout the United States to be a lot earlier than expected. And um, taking a look at what a uh, positive and negative arts oscillation does, um, typically um, during a positive arts oscillation, there's a big ridge that's a lot stronger, as well as a Greenland low that's a lot stronger. And that really strengthens the westerly winds to a point where the cold air is pretty much trapped because the westerly winds are diverting that cold air from meandering further southward into the United States, which keeps the United States warm during a positive arts oscillation. However, during a negative arts oscillation, the Greenland low and this ridge are a lot weaker, which means that the westerly winds are a lot weaker. So the cold air is trapped by the westerly winds and it's more likely to meander southward into the United States bringing colder than average conditions throughout the United States. And since we're expecting a negative arts oscillation over the next one to three months, I think it's safe to say that a lot of the United States should experience their first snowfall a little bit earlier. So it, so for cities such as Denver and Billings, uh, Montana, you should experience their first snowfall in October. This includes Fargo as well, Minneapolis, Des Moines, Omaha, should experience their first snowfall right around early November. This includes Milwaukee as well, and even as far east as Detroit, and this extends to Albany as well, as well as a lot of the state of Maine besides coastal regions. And then I expect, I expect your first snowfall to be in late November throughout the, I'd say the I-95 corridor just north of Philadelphia, um, which includes cities like Boston and New York City. Hartford should experience their first snowfall late, late November, and you see so on and so forth. You could pretty, you could probably tell um, based off of your map where exactly you'll experience the most snowfall, um, when, where you'll experience your, when you'll experience your first snowfall for. Um, 
um, for this winter season. So just pinpoint your location and you'll find out when exactly you should experience your first snowfall. Keep in mind that this is all speculation and it's very difficult to forecast because again, um, forecasting something long term is definitely a bit difficult. However, I'd say I'd lean to this forecast more likely than not to happen because it is based off of historical data that shows a strong um, consensus that we're going to experience cooler than average temperatures throughout the northern United States. So um, I'd expect to believe this more than not, but again, take it with a grain of salt. But yeah, guys, I guess that's it for this video. I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather calls. Make sure to like if you like this video. Make sure to turn on post notifications if you want to see even more weather calls. And I hope you guys all have a good day.